In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can make your footage go from looking like this to this in Final Cut Pro. So, uh, yeah, let's get to it. Personally, when I'm color grading my videos, I usually use the plugin called Color Finale Pro because I think it's a fantastic plugin to use if you're taking your video editing seriously. But for the sake of this tutorial, we're gonna use the built in color board of Final Cut Pro 10. The absolute first thing that we want to do in Final Cut Pro is to create a new project. So we're gonna hit Command N, and then we're gonna name this Cinematic Footage. And what you wanna do now is to choose the right video format depending on what you shot your video in. And personally, I'm gonna choose 1080, even though I shot most of the, these clips in 4K, but that is because I wanna downscale the 4K video to 1080 to give it that extra crispy look. And you wanna make sure that you don't choose like 30p or something like that, because that is going to give you a more jittery, uh, like non-cinematic look to your footage. So go with either 25, 24 or 23.98. Uh, but we're gonna go for 25. So there's gonna be a lot of different things that come into play on how to get cinematic looking footage. But one of them that I found is really important is to shoot in a flat color profile in your camera. And personally I'm shooting in S-Log2 on my Sony cameras, and then I'm shooting in d like on my uh, DJI Mavic Pro. And that gives you that like really washed out, non-contrasty, non-saturated look to your raw footage. But when you jump into Final Cut Pro, then you get way more possibilities when you get to the color grading part. So to use the color grading tool in Final Cut Pro, you wanna show the effects panel. And to do that, you're gonna hit Command-5, and then you wanna choose the color board, and you wanna drag that to the clip that you want to color grade. So I'm going to drop that on the DJI clip and then you want to go up here on the right and then you want to choose the little like colored triangle. You want to press that and now you get this color board that you can use. And then you can press this button up here and then you can choose color wheels which we want to add and then you're going to press this again and then you want to choose the color curves. All right, so if we go back to the uh, like effects panel or inspector, video inspector, then you can see that we have the color curves, we have the color wheels, and we have the color board. But we're gonna start out by using the color curve. So you wanna press the little colorful triangle here to get to the color curves. And the first thing you wanna do is give it a kind of a classic curves adjustment. And that you wanna mark here, you wanna drag it, the shadows down a little bit, and then you wanna drag the highlights up a little bit. It basically gives you this S shape on the curves. And that is basically all you gotta do in the curves section. So we're gonna go back to the video inspector, and then we're gonna choose color wheels, and then we're gonna press the colorful little triangle here to show all the settings. And here we wanna start by dragging down the mid tone. So we're gonna drag these down, and then we're gonna drag up the highlights just a little bit to somewhere around here. And the shadows, we can drag them just a tiny bit down. And we can increase the temperature of the shot to give it a little bit more warmer tone. So we're gonna drag this up. And then we're gonna adjust the mid-tones. We're gonna drag it towards the orange look somewhere around there that should be fine so if we look at the before and after you can see that did happen a lot even though we didn't do much with the color grading but we're gonna leave it there because i think it looks kind of good for now uh, and then we want to copy this and paste to the other clip so we're going to mark the clip down here and we're going to hit command c and then we're going to choose the next clip and then we're going to hit command shift v and then we wanna choose all the video attributes, and then we wanna hit paste. And as you can see, this is a really good look, like that it gives really, really fast, but this is a bit more like brighter, so we can go in and we can adjust some things here. We can drag the shadows down a little bit more, and then increase the highlights just a little bit, and then drag the midtones even further down. And then we can give some like some orangey look to the highlights as well. So it feels more warm and summery. 
I'm gonna drag it up here. And if we look at the before and after, it looks really, really good. So we're gonna choose that clip and then we're gonna hit Command Z. And then we're gonna choose both of the next clips and we're gonna hit Command Shift V and paste all the things to those clips. And let's see how it looks. This is a bit dark. This we can make a little bit warmer. So we're gonna jump into the next clip with the shoes or the feet. Uh, and we're gonna brighten this up a little bit because this is a bit too dark. So we're gonna jump into the color wheels and hit the uh, little color for triangle here. And then we're gonna drag up the mid-tones just a little bit. And then we can drag up the highlights even more. And then we're gonna drag up the master. We're gonna drag up down the shadows again. And we're gonna give it a little bit more warm tone in the shot. So it matches with the previous one. I think that looks kind of good. And then we're gonna jump to the next one. And as you can see, these two clips doesn't match up because these two has a lot of like warmth in them. And then this comes and looks a bit cold. So we're gonna have to do some adjustments to this as well. So we're gonna choose this. And then we're gonna go into the inspector. And then we're gonna choose the color wheels. And then we're gonna hit the uh, colorful little triangle. And now we're gonna drag down the shadows to make it a bit darker. But we're gonna increase the warmth off the shadows to match the clips that we saw before. So we're gonna drag this towards the orange there somewhere and we're gonna drag the mid-tones down a bit more and we're gonna drag them a little bit more towards the orange as well. Some around there should be fine. Okay, so looking at before and after, you can see that there's a lot that has happened just by adding these small corrections that we did with the color board. And I'm kind of satisfied with how clips look right now, but we're gonna give it a more cinematic feeling by adding the letter boxes to it. And there's two different ways that you can do this. You can either create a compound clip by hitting Alt G, and then you can go to the effects panel, and then we can type in letter box. And then we basically just drag the letterbox effect onto our compound clip. And then we'll go back up here to the uh, ins video inspector. And then we choose the aspect radio that we want to have. So for example, 2351. And now you got yourself a really cinematic feeling to the clip that you can use in your vlogs or your videos. But if you wanna set the aspect ratio yourself, then you can go up here to the generators and then you can choose a custom generator. Just drag it down to, um, to your timeline and then drag it the full length of the clip. You wanna hit the generator and then you wanna choose to crop this over here on the right to 960. And then you can see that in the bottom, we got a crop here. And then what you do to duplicate this is hold Alt and then mark the clip and drag it upwards. And then you can choose, go back here and then you can choose a zero on the top and then tab and then 960 on the bottom. And now you got yourself a letterbox that you can adjust or keyframe in or whatever you want to do with it. So that is kind of cool. I really hope that you found this video helpful. And if you did, please do drop a comment below because I'd love to hear your thoughts on the video. If you liked it, do give it a thumbs up because it does help a lot. If you haven't subscribed, that'd be really appreciated as well. So yeah, I guess uh, Peter from Sweden here is saying goodbye for this time. All good. See ya.